Well, hey there, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? This is D Ford. And uh, I know this has been a little bit long overdue, but uh, we've been in uh, blitz mode and launch mode uh, where I didn't want to have folks, you know, consume themselves so much with all the details of needing to learn everything, know everything uh, before we, you know, get this thing going for you. Because literally, folks, the two steps, you uh, uh, when you do that, that's really the business in a nutshell. Now I do rec now I do recognize, you know, in order to continue to grow the business and have the business thriving, it's always important to, you know, people know at least where to go and what to do and get, you know, and be familiar with their back office, which, you know, there are gonna be really certain tabs for the most part that we're gonna go to mostly just to make sure everything is in decent and in order, as we like to say. So just give you a little uh, filibuster around real quick as we have logged in. So I've already logged into this account, okay? And uh, this is where all your money is going to show up with every account in your cooperative uh, as it becomes active, okay? So this here, of course, is going to show the daily, then, you know, what you've done for the week, for the month, for the year, overall, et cetera, okay? Um, you also notice here you have your URL link. So this is your referral link, okay, that has at the end of it, that's actually your register key. So if you ever want to know where a person's register key is, now this is if you're looking at this from a computer or a laptop, right? You'll have this up here. Now, if you are looking at this from a phone or from a truncated screen, then you'll have to go over here. Uh, actually, another place you can go and get it is if you come down here where it says uh, invite one, step one invite, step two share. If you click on step two share, okay, notice it brings up your link right here. Share your guest link. So this is your link and there's your registration key right there. So that's a way you can get to your registration key, okay? To know who your sponsor is or who your enroller is, you can go to co-op profile down here, over down here where it says co-op profile. You click on co-op profile and go to my profile, okay? And it'll say your enroller's name is right here. So it lets you know who your enroller is, okay? Now I'm gonna come back to this screen because there's some other things I wanna cover here, but I wanna just cover some of the fundamentals right now. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard, all right? Now, Coming over here, okay, you have your co-op build dashboard. Now your co-op build dashboard is, it is an exact replica, okay, of everyone's live cooperative, okay, whether active or, you know, uh, accounts that haven't become active, demonstration accounts, everything. What it's literally showing you is that what your money and results would look like given an actual factual uh, exact replica of what your business and money would look like with everybody being active that's been put in your cooperative. Not just those that you've added under your account, but even if those that you signed up, they're doing demos and you know they're you know showing people how this thing works. As they're seeing their co-op build dashboard reflect new results because it's showing the actual factual numbers it's also increasing your numbers, because why? It is a live, excuse me, it is an exact replica of your whole entire operation, your whole entire cooperative, okay? If you guys ever notice, when I do demonstrations on the presentation, I go into one account and you know create accounts, and then I go to another window, use one of those accounts that I just created, go to another window, open up that account, do the same thing. And of course that account receives results, but I know for a fact that this account or whatever account I started with, is gonna have new results. Why? Because everything is connected, just like in a live account, okay? So that's the real benefit of the co-op build dashboard is to literally show people the actual numbers that will happen with all these accounts being live, okay? So, so if I come here and I just put in an account, let's do, 
Uh, Douglas Ford, okay. Uh, business Douglas Ford at Co-op CF. So this is as if Douglas Ford is opening up an account after Marcus Edwards. I'm gonna come down here and put the code in. I'm not a robot. Eight six one. Put that code in when I hit invite. That is just as Douglas Ford just opened up an account after Marcus Edwards. And when I scroll back up to the top, do y'all see that Marcus Edwards has money in his dashboard? That's literally how it functions in a live account. So it's literally showing you, it's giving you an exact replica, the actual numbers. These are not fabricated numbers. These are the actual numbers. So when we say everything is predictable and as advertised, Folks, it is simply that. It's black and white. No ifs, ands, or buts. Okay? No gray. All right? So that's the power of the build dashboard. Then you have your co-op 20 dashboard, which literally just shows you your co-op 20 division and the money that you've accumulated there. Now, all monies, whether if it's made in the co-op 20 division, whether if it's made in the co-op 28 division, or rather if it's made in the co-op 280 division, all your money is going right to your co-op wallet that only you have the access to, okay? So it's three different divisions, but it's just one wallet that talks to all of the different systems that we have, okay? And is there is there a subscription with all three divisions? Yes, there is. For the co-op 20, it's $20 every 28 days. So it's basically 13 cycles of $20 a year, okay? Now, in the co-op 28, it's $28 a month, okay? 13 cycles of 28, okay, that everyone does every, every, every year. But understand, that's also residual income coming in from everybody and their subscription, okay? And so that's why many of us got money coming in every single day, folks, because some people, when they got started, got started on the first, some got started on the second, some got started on the third, some got started on the 15th, some got started on the 16th, some got started on the 21st, some got started on the 20th. And so their, uh, their uh, subscriptions are running with, you know, when they start. And on every subscription after you, what's happening? It's sending you micro payments. Okay. So you're receiving money when they activate their account, and you're also receiving money every time there's every time at any time, anyone in your organization, in your cooperative, you know, has their subscription run. Everybody receives in the same way. So when we're showing you your money, so like when we go back to this co-op bill dashboard, this eight dollars is what. Okay, it's going to come to you every month from Douglas Ford's subscription that he does every 28 days. Okay, in the co-op 20. Okay. So guys, if there's anything that wasn't clear, definitely re rewind, listen to it again. Okay, so, but I'm going to move forward. So this is why this is just money that's not coming in one time. Now, are you going to receive $8 from everybody in your organization? No, you're not. There's going to be different percentages that are already set up. Well, Douglas, what are those percentages? Well, that's the secret sauce. Now, we do have, and, I'll, and I'll, uh, we haven't had a breakdown yet in the co-op 20, but there are set percentages at every level, okay? There are set percentages that, percentages that you receive from the accounts on each of the levels, Okay, that are different from other levels, uh, but it's the bonuses that, uh, I mean, that are there that the secret sauce is not released to us in terms of those bonuses. But yes, the bonuses do come on the means of you being qualified, okay? Which we really times don't cover in the presentation, but we know the bonuses come with us being qualified, okay? Now, Speaking of qualification, well, before I jump there, and the subscription in the 280 is 280, okay? But the money's there is 10X, 
So let's go back, let's go there. So let's go to the Co-op 280 dashboard, okay? Now, the reason why there's 1175 here and 11750 because of the account of the Douglas Ford that we just put in, okay? So see, Douglas Ford is representing in all three of, uh, of your divisions, okay? On the co-op build system. Because there again, it's an exact replica of the live accounts. So if I come here to the co-op 280, oh, no, where I'm going, to the co-op build dashboard again, okay? So now you see I switched me to the co-op business because co-op two, co 280 and co-op 28 are in the co-op business system, okay? So I come down here, let me add another name. Let's do uh, Duncan Robinson. Duncan Robinson at coopcf.com. Now, guys, listen to me. When you're doing demonstrations, okay, we want to use for the email, don't use the person's actual email until they have said they've committed and they're ready to go. And the reason being is because if you put their real email there and they haven't, you know, say committed that they're going to do this, then corporate is going to be sending them emails, you know, just keep them updated, sort of like a autoresponder, so to speak. And you don't want them to receive these emails uh, and, you know, and they're not aware of like, why am I getting these emails? So just for right now, if you're just doing demonstrations or showing someone you know exactly how this thing performs just use the extension co-op cf you notice i use that a lot because i know in the system it's built to where no emails go out to this web uh, to this email extension so use that email extension when you're just showing somebody a demonstration now when you're ready to create their real account then of course you'll use the best email that they give you right to create them an account right so i'm coming here i'm gonna Put in this key that I'm not a robot. 15646. Six. And I'm going to hit invite. Okay. Come up here. You see the results have changed. This is literally how it would be in a live account if those two accounts were live. Okay. Marcus Edwards and in, 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 in the co-op 28 would have 2350 in residual cash flow. And he would have 235 in the 10X, the 280, that's residual cash flow. They can count on coming in the next month and the month after that and the month after that at this point. And of course, if anybody else is putting in accounts there after him, this money is going to be increasing. So the, so the co-op build dashboard says co-op free but it's, it's, it's co-op build, same thing. It's showing you an exact replica of what your monies would be had everyone in your cooperative are active, okay? So you can imagine, you know, how many, consider how many demonstrations I've done, how much, you know, what my co-op build dashboard reflects, okay? So anyway, um, all right, so let's go back to, here, co-op 20. Well, okay, so it has to be still logged in, great. Awesome, now, now we're gonna go to cooperative, okay? Cooperative is just, so we're gonna go to co cooperative of the co-op build. So basically the cooperative is just showing you your whole entire cooperative, your whole entire organization with levels, okay? Right now, it, you know, there's only level one because there's only one person in the business. But even through personal enrollments, through team enrollments, through spillover or whatever have you, this thing is going to unfold, okay? Because understand, it is a three by six force matrix, okay? It's only a three by six force matrix. So basically on level one, you'll have just a total of three, okay? Only three can go in level one. And level two, nine. And level three, 27. And level four, 81, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, because it's always multiplying 
by three. So obviously, if you have this row filled up and yet you're still bringing personals in, well, they'll just go to wherever there's the next open spot. And the system puts people in, in the system from left to right, okay, in the organization, wherever the next open spot is. So it does it in a staggered way, wherever the best of the next available spot, okay? So, so just understanding that. So that's your cooperative, right? Now, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard here of the Co-op 20. If you notice here, it says auto renew Co-op 20, yes. Qualified, no, right? Auto renew is yes, because your auto renew, it, you know, that's your subscription. That's automatically set, okay? Uh, when you activate your account. Now, the reason why it says qualified, no, is because Basically, this, this person, their three hasn't gotten their three yet, okay? So, like, when I go to the uh, GBO team here, and let me go to the co-op build, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not going to go to active because active is not going to show anything. But, if, but you know, for, but for you guys that have, people under active. So the co-op build is showing everyone in your organization. That is uh, that is uh, personal to you, okay? So that's what GBO team is for. GBO team is showing you everyone that's personal to you, okay? It's your GBO team. But, but you're only able to see your personals. You're not able to see your whole organization that's where you got to go to cooperative. Cooperative shows you your whole organization. GBO team shows you just your personal enroll. I mean, just those that you personally enroll. So if you need to actually see the people that a certain person enrolled, you have to log into their account and go to their GBO, GBO team and go to active. Okay. Now, we're under, uh oh or on the co-op build to see all those that they put in. Now, we're gonna go to co-op co -op build on the GBO team. So notice here it has a person's first name or a person's name here. It has their email address here. You can see the categories, okay? Enroller, enroll date here, registration key here. Now this total and active. What this simply is stating is how many people that they've maybe put in the system, either through demonstrations or just creating accounts. This number on this side creates though how many are active, okay? How many are active? So this one here could be, let's say I put in five people, but then only two are active. Well, what this is gonna say is gonna say five here and two here. Well, let's say I put, uh, 13 in and only five are active. Well, it's going to say 13 on this side. It's going to say five on this side. Make sense? Now, this is how you'll know when you're qualified is that you have, you know, names in this list. And you'll come down here. And if you see three people that have, or entities, you know, uh, you know whatever's in your business, with three or more that have three active, that means you'll be qualified because that's the two step. That's the two steps. That's the one time execution. That's why in the formula that I talk about in the in the presentations, helping your three get to twenty four, okay, or helping your three in the co op business, co op twenty eight get to thirty five, or if I'm talking to those that are doing the ten x. Get your three to 352. Because when you're doing that, that's covering them, your three having their three. And so when you come back to Co-op 20 dashboard, when you help your three get their three, which each of them will have $24, qualified will say what? Yes. Because you've done the two steps that we call it, or you've done helping your three get to 28 residually, or excuse me, 24 residually, okay? Or in the co-op 28, helping your three get to their 35. 
or in the co-op 280, helping your three get to 352. And then they just duplicate that the same. Okay. And this here will have you not missing on any money that's due to you from your whole entire organization, from you know, from levels and also from bonuses that we that we receive being qualified. Okay. So qualified is just doing two simple steps. Okay. Step one, your three coming behind you. Step two, your three having three come behind them. Those are the two steps. The reason why I've sort of been saying a formula, because a formula is math. We know formula to be math, and math is undeniable. Okay? And when I say people are doing a one-time execution and never required to do it again, okay, that within that formula, within that one-time execution, is what? The duplication of accounts continuing to open. So the formula, it is force feeding residual cash flow that never stops coming to us because in the formula, his accounts are never stopped opening. So the reason why we like to say strategic because in a strategy, Okay, it's for us to be doing something together on purpose. If we're allowing people to come in and they're not looking to perform the strategy, then the strategy doesn't work, if that makes sense. Because the strategy is the strategy. And if we're going to have somebody that's not going to be with the strategy, then you're not strategic, if that makes sense. <laughs> Because we're not here just to bring in bodies. We're here that we're all strategically our force-feeding cash flow to everyone having three friends duplicate and do the same. So literally, uh, as we go back to the co-op build dashboard, so you see Marcus Edwards is at $8. He's at $8 because one account has already opened up after him. Now, what is our plan of action? Get our three to 24. So let's put in two names here. Let's do John Doe. Okay. Uh, and let's do now faith church north. See, I'm using coopcf.com. And guys, you can just use a random uh, phone number. The person when they log in, they can make you know make all that information uh, unique to them. But I just use general information. Uh, just to, just for demonstration purposes, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot the four, 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 two, five. Okay. So this is as two more accounts. Remember, everyone's having three come after them. Okay. So with Marcus receiving eight dollars from his first three, okay, each eight times three is what twenty four. It's math, guys. It's simple math. <laughs> the math is going to happen every time. So this is $24 residually. Okay. And so with Marcus, so, okay, I'd like to show you. So let's go to the GBO team and let's go to the co-op build. Oh, no, no, because we're in the Marcus. Uh, Well, okay, well, okay, 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 well, let me do it this way. This is probably better. So basically, uh, whoever enrolled Marcus, so, so just imagine whoever enrolled Marcus, right? If we went over to their account and went to GBO team, right? 
when we saw Marcus, this account here, going over, he'll have all his information, his email, his phone number. And over here, it would say three and three if all these guys were active. Does that make sense? So if just one of these guys were active for the Marcus Edwards account over and whoever Marcus's enroller is, it will say just three and one if it was just one person active. If it was two people active, it would say three and two. If it was all three of them active, it would say what? Three and three. Does that make sense? So remember, when you have three people that have at least three or more active, then, then this here is going to say qualified. Okay? And you guys just saw all that was involved in getting in, uh, in the co-op build dashboard. Okay? Co-op build dashboard. You see, Marcus, that was at 24. Okay, which that took a matter of just minutes. So this is Marcus getting to 24. Now, let's say Marcus is one of your enrollers. Now you're going to do the same thing for the other two. And that's what we're talking about having done in 48 hours. And with that, getting your three to $24 in 48 hours, everyone duplicating in that time frame We'll have your three. We'll have. So we'll have these three within their 48 hours to what? To get their three to $24. That duplicates with that time frame. In 16 days, your three will be at over $5,126 in residual cash flow. Without any resistance. To the result without any skill set required or needed by anyone for us to gain the outcome. You don't really think about that. <laughs> okay. I put that in my presentation uh, because that's what this is really, that's, that's what this is doing. We're strategically forcing the residual cash flow that comes to all. That's what this formula does. And there's no resistance in terms of us scoring every time we run the play. See, when something requires skill set, then that means that there's going to be resistance because it requires a level of skill of knowing how to say this to get a person to do that. Here, we're just doing this right here. We're just cooperating. Here, we're just cooperating. Cooperative. This is a cooperative bank. Our only goal is just to cooperate, everybody doing a one-time execution that they're never required to do again. So here, everyone just doing a one-time out-of-pocket of approximately $30, activating the co-op wallet, and getting your three to 24 residually in 48 hours or less. This, with, you know, with the math, because everything is math here, the math will have it as that duplicates, everybody doing it one time. It, so, so like the motivation or the incentive, if you would, if you want to, you know, call it an incentive, well, I guess it is an incentive, is, man, this is your three. Having $5,000 of residual cash flow in 16 days. Just with us all one time getting our three to $24 in 48 hours. You shouldn't have anyone to balk at that plan, especially with all the other dynamics. The other dynamics are what? The money is instant and it's always instant. Uh, let me go back here. Okay. And you're able to withdraw your money seven days a week. Speaking of withdrawal. So now we're going to go to co-op wallet. Okay. Co-op wallet. Co-op wallet has everything to do with the wallet. It has your balance. Okay. Uh, it has where you can add funds to your wallet because it is a decentralized wallet where it, you know, holds your money and keep your money there. You can actually 
transfer a member to member. Money gets to another member. All you're gonna need is their registration key. Okay, that key there. You just need the, you just need their registration key. Who you're gonna send it to? You're gonna put the amount that you're gonna send. Of course, that's you know, you know, whatever amount that you are able to send with them being in your wallet, and you'll send it right over to them. Many, many different businesses keep money on their wallet because they are facilitating uh, you know, monies to their different clients and customers. Okay. We have people that are, you know, unbankable that have been able to create a co-op wallet. And, you know, those that are sending money to them have used the co-op wallet to send money right over to them that they, that they got the money in seconds. And then they, all they have to do is just withdraw it. Okay. And the money's theirs. Um, here, of course, where you have ad funds, you are able to withdraw funds. Now, when you withdraw your funds, folks, okay, it says before processing to withdraw, please at first verify your account. So you got to verify. But uh, the point, let's, let's do verify here. All right. So what, so what you got to do, you have to set up a Google Authenticator. So typically it's better to set up Google Authenticator from your phone because your phone is always with you. Okay. And what you'll do is you'll download Google Authenticator. And then you'll just scan this QR code and it'll create uh, a system within the authenticator to where it's going to kick you out a code every 30 seconds that you got to put in before whatever the current code is expires so that it lets you into your wallet. This is for security purposes. So in order to access the wallet, that, that, that's the add funds, withdraw funds, or even transfer from member to member. You're going to have to use Google Authenticator. Okay? All right. Now, then we have co-op tokens. Okay? Co-op tokens is where you can... Well, actually, let's go back to co-op wallet. I'm sorry. Let's go back to co-op wallet. A couple more things. So, with any invoices that you have done, okay, under co-op wallet, it'll keep a track of all your invoices, like all your receipts, if you would. Okay? All transactions that you've done within your... Uh, back office will be kept under invoices. Again, that's under co-op wallet. So invoices are typically created when you are making any transaction in terms of buying tokens or uh, adding money to your wallet. Creates an invoice. Got it? So buying tokens or Adding money to your wallet always creates an invoice. Okay. Uh, now we go to transactions. Sort of self-explanatory. Gives you all transactions that take place in your account. Okay. Shows you all your debits, all your withdrawals, um, all your deposits, the whole bit. Everything that takes place in your wallet is under transactions and it keeps it, it dates it dates everything so this is your own artificial intelligent and uh, accountant here okay under transactions now let's go to co-op tokens and that'd be pretty much it okay so co-op tokens is where you can buy tokens to activate accounts or to pay it forward to people if you want to do that okay uh, my tokens is going to show you all of your actual tokens that you have. Okay. You look under these little bullets here. It says all your tokens, assigned tokens. So this shows tokens that have been assigned to people, used tokens, tokens that have been used, and also unused tokens. Okay. So you can filter it based on those bullets there. Okay. But this shows you all your tokens that you have. Uh, and then you have a sign token. So if you're, you know, looking to assign someone a token, you just come here under a sign token. Of course, there's no tokens here that are that haven't been used. Then you just put where it says assign to, put a person's registration key there, and then the number of tokens that you want to assign. Okay. And then, like before, you hit assign you'll see their name populate to make sure it's going to the right person. And then we get a sign, it's gonna ask for another confirmation to make sure, 
that is going to the right person and it's the number of tokens that you're sending. And then you just hit confirm. And then it'll just, in seconds, well, less than seconds, it'll be over there to them. Okay? Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Oh, yeah. Let's go back to my profile. Now, there are times, guys, that people want to just load their wallet with a lot of money, okay? Because maybe they want to, you know, work with their team and, you know, just have people send them money and they on, and they onboard them, okay? Which is, you know, a lot of people do it, right? Um, what you want to do, though, is that you want to make sure it's not really under here, okay? But, like, these different toggles... Because if you're going to be putting a lot of money in, but your intentions is probably not to upgrade, then you want to untoggle this. This is really specifically speaking in the co-op business because, I mean, we definitely don't want you to take your toggles off for the co-op 20 subscription and the uh, co-op 28 upgrade. So with, with this toggle being on while I'm here, so this is just on our side, but sort of, you know, about the same thing. Remember, all systems talk to the wallet. So you will upgrade to the co-op business 28 when your wallet has more than $28. Because what the system does, because it speaks to the wallet, the wallet has 28, it's going to automatically then upgrade you. Okay. Now keep that on because there again, as anybody in your organization, you know, as their business is growing, you know, they have theirs on. If you don't have yours on, right, and you're in the co-op 20, but you have an upgrade in the co-op 28, but other people in your organization have, they're going to jump you. They're going to be out of line with you. So that's why I say keep that on, okay? Keep that on. Now, let's go back to, let's go to this. This this, this will be more clear in the co-op business side here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go to co-op profile and go to my profile. Now remember, everything speaks to the wallet. So you notice here, you have more toggles, right? Because in the co-op business, you know, basically it's all three of them. You have the co-op 20 here, which is on. Uh, you have the co-op 280 that's on auto upgrade. You see that? And you have uh, the co-op uh, well, this, I mean, this actually starts with the co-op 28. You saw the auto upgrade in the co-op 20 uh, profile. But anyway, so with this still being toggled on, and let's say you're one that wants to add a bunch of money to your wallet so you can maybe pay it for for people and maybe activate them as they come on board, sending you the money, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Uh, you're not trying to maybe have them to have too much hands on and you sort of want to do it for some of your people. Now, you know, this is something that people can do temporarily. I don't recommend that you be the like like the designated person to do this unless you hire somebody to do this for you. Then okay, again, it's your business. You you know uh, you run your business how you want to run it, right? I have an admin working for me myself with some of my marketing and things of that nature. Anyway, uh, if you put a whole bunch of money in, but your intent was not to be upgraded to the co op to eighty then you have to come in here and uncheck this, okay? Because if you because if this is checked and you add, say, like $1,000 to your co-op wallet, right? Well, because this is checked, and remember, the system talks to the wallet. And if this is on auto, auto upgrade, it's on green, it's enabled, then it's going to deduct $280 from your $1,000. And you'll be like, why is my money only at $720? Because you got to come and toggle this off. Okay. And then you're on manual upgrade. So now you can dictate when you want to upgrade. But there again, remember, as you're growing, you got to make sure that you do toggle that back on. Because if you have people in your organization that start getting upgraded to the co-op 280, and you're not in the 280, you already know where that goes, right? And guys, it, it's I'm just telling you now, it's very, 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 very difficult. So it's best not to even get in that conversation. 
it is a it is a headache and it's uncommon and, and it's very uncompensated because uh to reverse i should say you know because there's already a payout done cuz remember everything is instant here so if people are getting put in uh, a division of business and you're not there and you want them back in line with you, uh, I mean, I don't want to put the company even through that. So let's be our own tech support. Let's be our own managers in that regard, if that makes sense. Okay? So so I'm just giving you the understanding that the system speaks to the wallet. Right? And so just like when you're in the co-op 20, when there's $28 in your wallet, it's going to automatically upgrade you to 280. But it's going to do the same thing for everybody else. So now you're going to start receiving from two divisions, co-op 20 and the co-op 28. And then when your money gets to 280 or whenever you decide you want to upgrade, then you'll be receiving three streams of income because your team is coming right behind you in all three of these divisions as well. And it's happening all automatically. With the toggle, because when you, because when you initially come in the system, everything is set to auto, okay? Because it wants this to be a seamless process for you, okay? I can't tell you there have been times. Well, not say I can't tell you, but there have been times where people were not in the two eighty. Their team, they had like the whole team. Oh no, Douglas. They're supposed to be in my team. Why'd you have the 280 unchecked? Okay. Well, well, well. No, no, no. No, well, well, well. Okay. Maybe you didn't have the belief at the time that your business was going to go that fast and you had people that brought in other people and they didn't communicate with you. So good communication is always good, but we don't be communicating to where we're trying to micromanage. Folks, people who try to micromanage this business they have a small business. They really do. Okay? Okay? When you have people, ignorance on fire, that's called momentum. When you're dealing with a people's business, guys, people like momentum and excitement and good energy. Okay? So, you know, we just make sure that, you know, so you won't be missing out on any money and no one getting out of line in any one of the divisions, just making sure that you're, you know, you're the leader, okay? You're the leader. Don't expect your team to do what you're not willing to do. And people want to see a visible leader. They just don't want to hear one talking. Now, it's good that you train and coach. That's all good. But don't have this uh, vibe in your business that we got to know everything before we even do two simple steps. Trust me. Everyone doing the two simple steps, everything else will take care of itself. I promise you that. But it's it's too easy for people to get into uh, a knowledge on ice mode. and You don't want that. You want ignorance on fire. Always. Okay? So, there's no reason, there, no, there's really no reason for a person to really ask a whole bunch of questions about the back office if they don't, if, uh, if, if, if when they come here, well, okay, they can't go there. If when they come here and they're not qualified, there's really no reason to ask a question in the back office if a person's not qualified. Because anything in the back office will have nothing to do with this getting qualified. Nothing. All to do with a person becoming qualified How's a person becoming qualified in the co-op 20? Getting your three to $24 residually. That's simply getting them their three to come behind them and activate a co-op wallet account. And then you, we all work together and get their three and have it duplicating. Okay. So guys, that's going to be it on the back office training. Uh, uh, I know it's long overdue, but hey, we got it done. So I'm going to put this on a YouTube video and you definitely share it with all those that you know want to get an idea of the back office and all the different menus and stuff like that. But uh, right now, guys, um, I didn't mention this, but this used to be a marketing system that this company had put in place to sort of market the business. 
where they would say, hey, three minutes a day, take time out. They were doing email marketing, but, you know, due to uh, FTC regulations and things of that nature, uh, you know, we're not able just to spam people with email. So, so I mean, the system is still there to do demos, uh, but people ask, you know, what is this three minute a day uh, system about? Uh, it was an email marketing campaign that they were doing, uh, but now I just use it for just creating demos, uh, just so people know how this thing actually functions with the co-op build dashboard. Telling you guys now, the more people that are using the co-op build dashboard, they're building the stronger foundation, the stronger teams, and generating the more momentum because you're not out here trying to give people a spiel. You're literally showing them the results and how undeniable they are, okay? So use the dashboard in your own way, but just make sure that you're using it. You're using more visual uh, results than you are speaking results, if that makes sense, okay? Well, guys, that's it. As I like to conclude every time we get together, we just don't want to see you at the top. We want to see you cash flowing with scale. And most definitely, we want to see you over the top. Take care. God bless.